In The Sopranos, we follow New Jersey mob boss Tony Soprano as he runs his crime syndicate whilst trying to keep on top of his family life at home. We gain special insight into Tony's psyche thanks to his therapy sessions with Dr. Milfi. But said therapy sessions do nothing to stop Tony's descent into narcissism, self-interest and selfishness, traits of his which are never more amplified than in season 6. In today's short video, I wanted to talk about that he is practically a background character. We don't know much about him, except that he's part of Carlo's crew. Who even is this guy? He seems to appear out of nowhere. Well, his last name is Belfiore, which is the maiden name of Angie Bompincero, widow of Pussy Bompincero, as mentioned by Janice in one scene. So it's likely he's related to her, maybe a cousin or nephew or something. He first shows up in the episode Walk Like a Man, going with Carlo Gervasi to a meeting. There isn't going to be much mind-blowing analysis in this video or anything. I just think the guy is because it's he who takes out the Shah of Iran, ending the New York-New Jersey war. One might argue, why was such a job given to practically a no-name, instead of someone like Paulie or even Benny Fazio, criminal mastermind? But it makes sense. Hits in the mob are usually done by lower-tier guys. Benny was moving up, especially since the death of Christopher, and the Sopranos would have had numerous soldiers out on the lookout for Uncle Philly. A random guy could easily come across him and be the one to take him out. It makes sense that there are always lower guy levels coming up in the ranks. They've always been around, but we just haven't seen them because they haven't been involved in major storylines. Perhaps Walden's biggest scene of prominence is when the crew are at Tony's after Chris's tragic, accidental death, consoling Tony. Walden quite hilariously keeps going on about Carlo, saying Carlo's coming up, until Syl gets irritated. It's always been a weird scene, perhaps just an example of the humour the show likes to sprinkle into otherwise dark scenes. One of the reasons it may have been included is to keep Carlo in our consciousness, as of course soon it would be revealed that he flipped, and maybe he never actually turns up to the house, unlike the likes of Benny, Paulie, Bobby and Syl, after having lost respect for Tony, which is something I've covered in my video on Carlo's betrayal. Although the theory about him not turning up doesn't quite work because Carlo does eventually show up. But I think the scene has a natural flavour to it, Walden constantly bringing up Carlo. He is in Carlo's crew, it's actually Carlo who's supposed to be here. It's like when you're a kid and a whole bunch of your dad's friends come around and while you're waiting for him to come out of the toilet, you're like, oh, he'll just be a minute, oh, should be any second now. It's awkward for Walden, a random soldier who's found himself inside Tony's inner circle with his captains in this intimate moment, before his own captain has shown up. So he just has his awkward small talk to say because he doesn't know what else to say. And if anyone is wondering why on earth Walden is here, he can just remind him that Carlo's coming up hoping that Carlo can hurry up about it. He doesn't have anything else to contribute. It doesn't seem proper for him to ask first how Tony is or any of the details of the crash, so he awkwardly says whatever he can. Walden's inclusion into major events and scenes may be a deliberate move by the show to show us how Tony's original crew has shrank so much with guys having died or gone to jail, that by the time the show ends, so many beloved characters are gone, and random guys like Walden are thrust into important positions because Tony's options are running out thick and fast. We all know that famous shot of Paulie alone in front of Satrialt, and how it contrasts with a scene earlier in the series when all the capos are having a time of it on the same spot. Most of them are gone now, Paulie is the only OG left, so Tony's inner circle will gradually change and evolve, bringing in much younger guys like Benny and Walden as Tony grows older, his reputation a much more different one now than the young buck of season 1. His generation is becoming increasingly irrelevant, these young guys won't see a reason to be as loyal to Tony as the likes of Silvio and Bobby. They'll see Tony as a money-grabbing old-timer like Tony saw the likes of Junior in the early days. Even Walden's name is significant, alluded to by when Paulie says, Walden, what the fuck kind of name is that for an Italian? These guys are now third, fourth generation. They are more Americanized. To such an extent, a guy like Paulie can't even relate to the name itself. In some ways, though, Walden might just show us that 
obviously in the event that Tony survived the finale, that he would be okay because he'd be surrounded by competent soldiers. Walden may be awkward, but there's nothing to suggest he's anything like Matt, Sean or Jackie Jr. In fact, he might just be an inverse to Christopher, a potential protege that is actually competent unlike Chris, who is a major fuck up. Walden, during the scene with the cat, has an extended tit for tat with Paulie, who Christopher was constantly bickering with. He becomes prominent after Chris snuffs it, and in contrast to Camel Nose, he is usually quiet around the higher ups and is trusted to carry out the hit on Phil. He likes the cat, which contrasts with Chris killing a dog. And it's worth mentioning that many Sopranos fans think the cat is Adriana reincarnated. And during the scene with the cat, Walden is lifting weights like Chris did in a previous scene, but he is actually lifting them with proper form and isn't smoking while he's doing it. So perhaps the show is actually doing something with Walden here, making him an intentional contrast to most of the younger guys in the mob who are a bunch of morons, showing us that the future is bright for the mob and for the Sopranos crew, because guys like this, the new Chrissy, will be in the mix. What do you think of this? Let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.